static software structures or modules are the implementation units. These modules focus on the way the system's functionality is divided up and assigned to implementation teams. Ke is unit pe aapne kaam karna hai, is unit pe is team ne kaam karna hai, is unit pe is team ne kaam karna hai, aur ye aapas mein ye is tarikhe se hogi. So, they are assigned specific computational responsibilities. Ye functionality ko aapne kis tarikhe se aapne divide kiya hai. Computational responsibility kiya hai. And they basically evolve into the basis of work assignment for programming teams. Ke kis team ko aapne kaise karna hai? Ke team A, for example, will be working on the database. Team B works on the business rules. Team C works on the uh, user interface and so on and so forth. I mean, baaz ka taap is tarikhe se nahi karte, kisi aur tarikhe se aap isko karte hain. Ke ji, ye pura component jo hai, ye team A ne karna hai, jisme user interface se database tak ye saari chiz shamil hai. Ya aap isko is tarikhe se bhi aap isse partition kar sakte hain. It all depends upon how do you, uh, you know, look at things. These implementation units or modules in large projects, these modules are subdivided for assignment to sub teams. Further, is ki division am kar deti hain uh, sub teams ke liye. For example, a database for a large enterprise uh, resource planning, that is an ERP system implementation might be so complex that its implementation is split into many parts. So, depending upon the size and complexity of the problem, you have further divide karna padta hai, divide karna chahiye, aur hum isko ye dekhne ki koshish karte hain ki kaha tak ye isko divide karna hai, which makes it meaningful ki baut zara chote tukdo mein bina pad jai, lekin, you know, a high level of abstraction bhi usme kaim rahe aur phir aap usko properly manage bhi kar sakein aur aap usko assign bhi kar lein. Ye jo sub division of task hai aur modules jo hai, isko decompositional structure bhi kehte hain. That is, is pure structure ko decompose kehte hain, capture the, and this structure captures the decomposition of this whole module. Jisko aapne further aapne divide kiya. There are many different types and examples of static structures. For example, we have class diagrams. Ye class diagrams jo hain, ye bhi ek tarah se module structure ho jata hai. Packages mein aap se define karte hain. Ye ke module ke structure ban jate hain. Class diagrams, module ke structures. And they emerge as an output of the object oriented analysis and design. इसी तरीके से हमारे पास लेयर्ड स्ट्रक्चर भी आ जाते हैं बस का हम चीजों को लेयर्स में हम डिवाइड करते हैं और फिर उसको फर्दर लेके चलते हैं दीस मेनी डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ स्टैटिक स्ट्रक्चर्स दैट यू कैन एम्प्लॉय डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द प्रॉब्लम एट हैंड सो ये हमारा पहला आर्किटेक्चरल एक तरीके से वो चीज होती है एंड टिपिकली तमाम आर्किटेक्चर्स में जो हम डिफरेंट उसकी uh, करते हैं डायग्राम्स बनाते हैं डिजाइन्स करते हैं आम तौर पे तमाम में ये स्टैटिक स्ट्रक्चर्स को डॉक्यूमेंट जरूर किया जाता है बाकी किसी को करें या ना करें डिपेंडिंग अपॉन के रिक्वायरमेंट क्या है लेकिन ये आम तौर पे जरूर डॉक्यूमेंट किए जाते हैं